Hey folks, Randy Go, Trap Mag Man with you here today. Uh, took a trip out to Bald Knob Lake the other afternoon, folks, and uh, run upon a, quite a number of uh, really good bluegill beds. Uh, chock full of fish. Uh, only stayed out there two hours. Uh, the wife went with me. She was my net girl on this trip, which is always glad to have her along. Uh, didn't, didn't stay out there very long. The heat, I'm telling you, it was hot, folks. It was, uh, I'm gonna say it got up to the upper 80s. Uh, wasn't hardly a breeze stirring most of the time. Uh, quite humid, it was, <laughs> it was pretty hot. I could have caught fish, I don't know, I probably could have caught 200 fish if I wanted to. I caught, I think I had over 60 fish. Just a fantastic day. Uh, these bluegill folks, uh, that lake uh, mystifies me. Uh, you know, you can't catch bluegill out there, or I can't, when they're not on, on bed. You can't find the darn things. Uh, I don't know where they go. A lot of people have trouble catching fish out on that lake. Uh, then others catch fish, but there's no doubt that I've missed a shellcracker spawn. I think that happened early April when we had that warm spell and it got cold. I think during that warm spell, I wasn't out on the water. I think that's when the shellcracker spawn, because I have only caught a couple of shellcrackers since I was, you know, past five weeks I've been fishing out there, uh, which I would love to get on the shellcracker spawn, but I've, I've missed it. That's just a fact. These bluegill, uh, in the video, you're going to have my worst and my best, what I caught. Uh, all of them though, were basically around eight inches. Uh, you don't catch any dinks out there, which for me is, is a mystery. This time of year, there should be dinks all up shallow, just, you know, going around feeding on stuff. It's not the case out there. You know, I, I just don't know the situation of that lake. Uh, of course, you know, I've only been fishing it. This is my second year to fish it. Uh, I'll get to know more about it as time goes on. But all these bluegill were, were chunky. They have a great girth on these bluegill out there. Uh, they really do. And boy, they fight hard on the equipment I use. Uh, today, I used a solid tip rod out there, the Diplomat Extreme 6 foot 2 Ultralight. It's a fantastic rod, solid tip. I absolutely love it. Now, one of the good features about this, and a lot of people don't like solid tip rods, let me say that. Uh, I say a lot of people, some don't like them. I love them. Uh, they're very sensitive, but it's a different kind of sensitivity. What'll happen is when fish hit this, the tip is so soft due to the solid nature of the solid tip, they don't really realize that they, they are hooked and then they hook themselves. You don't, you don't have to set the hook. Of course, I don't set the hook with any of my rods anyway. I don't have to, but this rod here, absolutely love it. I left the slow taper special at home because if I didn't leave it at home, I'd wind up fishing with it. I've learned that over the years uh, with all these different JDM rods. Uh, you have favorite rods and uh, the slow taper special is my most favorite rod, but if I take it with me, I'm gonna fish it. So I've learned to, if I really wanna fish a rod, to leave the rod, other rods at home and take this one. I took this rod in the six foot three Luna Kia, which is a fantastic rod also. But this rod just gave me a ton of fun. I had it uh, spooled up with uh, the Lemony ES2 Ester line and the 2.3 pound test, I think it is. Uh, and uh, just give me a lot of fun. I mean, you'll see in the video, you'll see the bending curve on this rod. It's, it's, it's a fantastic rod. They no longer, I don't know if they make this rod anymore or not. They're not readily available, I know that. But I mean, so much stuff is going on with Japanese gear nowadays, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, I'd love to put a link in here where you go and buy this rod because it is a great rod, trust me. But I, you know, you can't find them anywhere, but they're still listed in some places on websites, but they have zero stock. I don't know if Ibu Garcia is going to start up making these rods again. I have no way of knowing. But anyway, that's what I fished with uh, the other day. Uh, got to see the eagle soaring out there. My wife always enjoys that, and I do too, of course. Uh, come down pretty close to the boat there. Uh, soaring overhead and uh, getting my gear ready, getting the boat ready and getting the gear ready. And folks, I'm taking a trip up to the White River next week to do some trout fishing. I've already booked my Airbnb and uh, when I booked it, it was uh, weather forecast was good. Well, now the weather forecast is not too good, but I'm going to go anyway because I got to go. Uh, can't get my money back on Airbnb after a certain date. So maybe the weather will hold off. Maybe I can get out in the boat and fish, but gonna take the boat, uh, put it on the White River for the first time ever, have this boat on the river for the first time ever. Uh, and uh, if I do get to fish, you'll have some pretty amazing video because where I'm gonna be fishing, you're gonna catch a ton of trout, a ton of good trout, 18, 20 inch fish. Uh, that's usually what you get into up there. Uh, that would be an absolute ball. 
uh, going to take several rods with me depending on what the water's doing, how much water they're releasing. I'm going to take a, a medium light for the D2 jig, take a light action for the D2 jig. Those are bass rods, the day's uh, bass rods from Major Craft. And going to take a couple of area trout rods and a one field, or one field, one, uh, one stream trout rod uh, to throw some spoons. Uh, should be a good trip. And like I said, if I get to fish, which I'm hoping I do, uh, have some good video back on that trip. But anyway, folks, uh, hope all of you are well. Hope all of you are safe. Hope you enjoy the video. Hope you're out fishing. Hope you're catching a bunch of fish. So until next time, so live them all and life is good. Hmm. There he is. There he is. Ooh, 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 this choker cutting up. Choker cutting up, folks. See what we got here. Got my wife on the net today. That's always good. What we got here? Oh, yeah. Beautiful bluegill. Absolutely gorgeous. Shoot fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous fish. Yes, sir. All right, let's get him back in the water. Ooh. What we got here? Joker cutting up. Cutting up. On the Diplomat Extreme 6-2 Ultralight, folks. I love fishing with this rod. It's a great rod. Oh yeah, shoot. Would you look at this thing? He's a pretty one. This is this joker is this joker got the girth now. I can hardly get my hand around this joker. Shoot fire. That that joker has got some girth. That joker. Whoa, that joker's nice. He ain't but eight inch fish, but what would you look at him top to bottom? Shoot fire. Alright, let's get him back in the water. Get out of that trolling motor. So we're putting a bend in this rod. That's a fact. This may be a shell cracker. Let's see what we got here. This joker digging. Nice Ooh, bluegill. Oh. Beautiful bluegill. Beautiful bluegill. Shoot fire. What you talking about now? Oh yeah. 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 Yep. Get the grass off of him. Yeah, gorgeous fish, eight inch bluegill, great girth. All right, let's get him back in the water. Ooh, here we go. Here we go, another bluegill. Pretty good one, feels like. Come on. Yes, sir. All right. All right. This joker. Yes, sir. This is good fish here. Good bluegill. Let's see him here. Oh, yeah. Frank yes, sir. Pretty. Chunky, chunky, pretty male. Yes, sir. All right. On the bison colored trout magnet. Dawa Gekabajan Tungsten Jig Head Diplomatic Stream 62 Ultralight Solid Tip Rod. Yes, sir. Life's pretty good, folks. Let's get him back. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get out that motor. Get out that motor. Yes, sir. Another good bluegill. Oh, yeah. This joker. Now, this joker. I believe this is a pretty, really nice fish here. Shoot fire. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, shoot yeah. What you talking about? What you talking about? Big old bull. Yes, sir. Well, I say that, and I think it's a big female. Let me look at it. Now oh, that's a male. That's a male. Boy, that is a gorgeous fish. Absolutely beautiful fish. I mean, they just don't come no better than that, folks. That's just a fact. All right, let's get him back. Yes, sir. This fish here. What we got here, folks? Hey, this shell cracker. I do believe. Don't know for sure. That's what I think it is. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's got to be a shell cracker. Oh, well, no. It's a bluegill. It's a good bluegill, too. Shoot fire. Wow. These things, folks, you can't see this on the camera too good, but these things got the girth. They got the weight. They are some impressive bluegill now. From You know, they're eight inches, but boy, they got some great girth. I just want you to look at them. I don't know if the sun is... Let's get it turned around here. See, can you see that better? That's a beautiful fish. All right, let's get him back in the water. There he is. There he is. There he is. Another bluegill, folks. This joke would be digging. Yes, sir. He'd be digging. Come on up in here. Oh, yeah, shoot fire. Look here, another chunky, chunky bluegill. Wow. Let me tell you, these jokers got the good genes. Got the good genes. Another beautiful fish. Another absolutely gorgeous fish. All right, let's put him down. Right, here we go. Here we go. Another one. Another one right here. Here we go. This joke is cutting up, folks. Oh, yeah, shoot fire. Would you look at this fish? I just want you to look at this fish. Wow, this is a... Let's see what we got here. I think it's a... Just a oh, yeah, he's a bluegill. But boy, is he... This joker got the girth, folks. It's got the girth. Yes, sir. Turn around here, Sunday. good flare. Where you can get a good picture of them. A good, good look at Oh, that's a nice bluegill. It's only eight inches, but folks, look at the girth on that fish. Look at his head, look at his belly. That's a beautiful fish. Let's get him back. Really? He knocked the fire out of this, folks. He knocked the fire out of it. He's some good bluegill. A real good bluegill. Shoot fire. Get him up. Yes, sir. Look here. Look here at this bluegill. Would you just look? Wow, 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 wow. Beautiful bluegill, absolutely gorgeous bluegill. Let's get him back in the water. Cool. 
Bunch more fish, folks. Another good bluegill, I do believe. Let's see what we got. Oh, come here. <laughs> you try and get away from me. Another chunky bluegill. Another chunky bluegill. Another beautiful fish. Gorgeous. A little bit smaller than the other ones, but still a great, great fighter. All right, let's get him back. Ooh, here we go, over here on this side. They all over the place. Tell you truth. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, this is cutting up. It's cutting up. Maybe a, what have we got here? Maybe a shell cracker. Let me see here. It is a shell cracker. Shoot. Finally. What you talking about? Finally got a shell cracker. I hope for some. Oh, that joke was long. He ain't got a. Measure? Yeah, we, we can measure him. See. See what he is. I don't. Let me get a, get a good picture of him. That's a beautiful fish. Let's see what he is. Nine and a half. Nine and a half inch shell cracker. But let me tell you something, folks. I'll take them all day. Nine and a half inch shell cracker. Shoot fire. Let's get him back in the water. Missed him, missed him, missed him. There he is, there he is, there he is, yes sir, bed's out a little further than I thought, this choker's cutting up, this choker's cutting up good, what we got here, let's see what we got here, another, another chunky, chunky bluegill. What I'm talking about. Another chunky bluegill, folks. It's just been a fantastic day. It's been a hot day, too. It's hot out here. Let's get him back in the water. GoPro.